ever wondered about what your life could look like when living in the countryside? A life with less distractions and a slower pace to find more time for interests you would otherwise never get around to doing. I have for a pretty long time already, but it was always something that felt unachievable because of work, age, friendships and living in the Netherlands. A flat country with buzzing cities but sleepy villages with mainly elderly living there. So when one year ago my partner and I crafted a plan together to somehow make this dream come to life, the opportunity arose for us to move to Norway. Suddenly we could start designing a life different from the one we had, but not too radical of a change for us to completely ditch modern life. Because what we want to get out of this experience is not so much a simpler life, but to make it easier for ourselves to unplug from modern life. And what this looks like for us is applying some aspects of slow living to our daily life, but mainly just following our intrinsic interests which in the countryside includes a lot of time spent outside. One of the main wonderful features that comes with the cottage we rent and which stimulates going outside a lot is having a garden to take care of. And since living in a city for three decades has taught me nothing about growing my own food and the health benefits of certain herbs and weeds that grow everywhere, there is a lot to learn here. So the way I am exploring and embracing this new countryside way of living is by trying to understand more about nutrition and the things we can grow ourselves. Before, I have never made time to dive deep into these topics, mainly because cooking and baking have always felt stressful and time consuming. So when we knew we were going to move into this cottage with its large garden, I suddenly found myself interested in making creative and healthy meals. Also inspired by my best friend who has been eating gluten free ever since I've known her, I bought the most beautiful cookbooks to get started. So this pastry is very popular in Norway and I guess it's a good one to start with to make some friends over here. Also, I've already got some friends hooked on this gluten-free breakfast, so do try this one at home yourself. I have found that a gluten-free or gluten-reduced diet has many health benefits when you have an active lifestyle. For one, it helps for a quicker recovery, which I find extremely interesting. So one of the main reasons for us wanting to live here is having direct access to the outdoors. And oh my, that's a hell of a luxury coming from one of the largest metropolitan regions in Europe before moving here. It's a lot more fun going for a bike right now and getting into that yoga state of mind when there are no honking cars to avoid and shut out. I would say this has drastically improved my work-life balance because now I actually cannot wait to go outside on the weekends, which wasn't the case back home. But for me, keeping to a schedule and building habits is part of this improved work-life balance as well. I swear by these paper planners because it gives me a hell of a lot more overview of all the things that need to be done. That part hasn't changed, to be honest. I still feel like I have to be productive all the time. 
I guess less distractions leaves more time for productivity. The last thing about countryside living I would say that has had a positive impact on my life is nurturing time to be creative. Instead of squeezing in some creative time, which somehow never happened to win it from productive time before, I now feel more of an urge to build in a good chunk of time into my day. I would say there's more headspace now for this. So to conclude this examination of my life so far in the countryside, in comparison to my life in the city, I have some last thoughts I would like to share. Because in case you're wondering if this is something you would like to pursue yourself as well, it helps to emphasize this is just one experience. And my intention is not to show off or convince you to leave the city. Quite the opposite actually. I would rather feed your curiosity about this interest you might have about what it's like and see if any of it resonates with you. Because it helps to know I am an introvert who gets easily distracted by noise, but also someone who loves to connect with friends over coffee. So there are always two sides to a story, right? I love that this is a season in my life that is dedicated to pursuing mostly intrinsic interests, but I don't like that I'm far away from good friends and I miss the ease of hanging out together. All in all, I feel extremely privileged to be able to have these two experiences and the opportunity to live here right now. I do hope though that sharing my experiences has given you some insight into life outside of the city as a 30 something. And I am very curious to hear your thoughts if you think this would be something for you as well or not. I would love to hear. Thanks for spending your time with me here today and I really hope to see you again for the next video. Bye for now.